<laughs> maybe 930. Oh, it's a hardware issue too. And it's a new issue. And he has nobody to talk to. And his name is Gyarados. So now I have to help him. Okay, Gyarados writes, brand new Samsung ultra wide monitor, not detecting any input regardless of cable output configuration. It's less than a year old, but Samsung won't do anything about it. How do I repair it myself? I got you, bro. Warranty voided on a thousand dollar monitor and I need a replacement part, but I don't know how or where to get it. I am not in the US, but I have tool slash repair kit and can probably do it myself if I knew what to look for. I know this is probably longer than it should be, but please bear with me. Yeah, sure, I can read. <laughs> so back in June, I was living in the US and bought what I now know is a USDM only model. The whatever this says and let's pull this up real quick so we can actually get a picture an idea in our head um so the yeah it's a samsung and it is a super wide screen so it's this guy here oh it's not the odyssey is it no you can't do the odyssey he's not talking about the odyssey okay yeah so basically it's this guy right here right cool it was working great and i loved it shortly after the amazon return window the panel i believe became faulty this may be very telling, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Shortly after the Amazon return window, the panel, I believe, became faulty and, and was completely unusable 90% of the time and perfectly fine the other 10%. Okay, no big deal. I call Amazon. They tell me to call Samsung, which they will do that. I call Samsung and they tell me that, tell them the situation. At the time, my situation was I was moving to Japan in a few months. Ooh. And he's in Japan, okay. In a few months time, and I would really like a replacement so that I can enjoy what was once a great product. Longer story short, they basically gave me the runaround until it was very close to the date to pack up my things and I never got a true replacement. However, they did send a subcontractor out who replaced everything but the plastic outer shell and stand and the repair was finished just hours before the mover showed up. When he was finished, the screen powered on and the panel looked great. I didn't have anything to plug into it, because I didn't notice, I didn't think I needed to test that. How did it look great if you couldn't see the screen? Without a screen, it's gonna be black. The issue that I had was gone, so I signed off on the work and had my monitor packed early that, the next morning. Side note, I kept all the factory packaging because I knew about the move beforehand. Upon inspection of the received item at my new apartment, the box only had minor scratches and didn't seem damaged beyond that. Fast forward like three months because that's how long it took me, took for me to get my things delivered to my apartment. And I finally get my PC and other monitors set up. The other monitors are certainly more modest, but they all are in working condition. Between my GPU and my motherboard, I have three. What? Okay, so he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. We'll tell him. We'll tell him. I already know what everybody's thinking. And 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 yeah, I'm with you. Between my GPU and my motherboard, I have three HDMI and four display port outputs. No, you don't. I can get all three smaller monitors to work with any combo. But for some reason, no combination of already verified connection combinations of cables and output sources are picked up by the LC blah 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 blah. When I was on the phone with Samsung months ago, they told me because it's USDM only, it had to be fixed in the US, and even taking it out the country would void the warranty. Obviously, I didn't think that was the problem because after numerous phone calls, a tech was sent replacement parts and a repair was done before I left. But now it's looking like there's an issue and some components other than the panel. Luckily, the panel is the most expensive part. So whatever I need to replace is going to cost a fraction of the brand new comparable unit. My problem is I didn't really get a look at the parts number for the things that were replaced that I haven't been able to find like a technical diagram or parts list online anywhere. I have an electronics repair kit and effectively the same tools as the repair tech. I just need to find out what parts what part or parts I need and then I can try to replace it on my own. Don't do that. If you guys can provide any sort of help, I would hugely appreciate it. Thanks, Jesus Christ. So yeah, okay, there's so much to say for our, our water flying friend here who's weak to electric. Um, so let's do this here. Let's, let's start here. I need to see the specs to see what we're working with. What are the inputs that, that this guy has? Uh, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't tell us anything. Can you show us the underneath? Uh, why is it so hard to click on? 
Okay. Um, technical specs was just that. I don't like that. I don't like this thing. What, what site is this? This site is trash. Every time I click on something, it gets super slow. Okay. Um, let me go. That can't be it. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> that doesn't bode well. <laughs> Everybody's showing broken screens from this. Okay, here we go. Samsung will know. It's your product. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is this is our guy. So what I, okay, so it is, okay. It's an HDR 1000. It has 120 Hertz refresh rate. Okay, and what is the, man, what are the specs at? Oh, here they are. All right, so we need to see, okay, so it's 1440p. That's good to know. And 120 Hertz. And what are the inputs on this guy? So it's a display port and it's display 1.4, as well as it has HDMI. So it has display, it has HDMI, and it's 2K. All right, cool. So he has display, he has HDMI to work with. And then he said graphics card and he said computer. So, so for starters, so for starters, could you let us know your PC specs? Secondly, typically when you have your graphics card in the inputs on the motherboard are disabled. Could you try display or HDMI going directly into the graphics card also with this here because obviously i can't spell the word specs specs we are particularly looking for the cpu obviously because we're trying to see if the cpu has integrated graphics if the cpu has integrated graphics we'll remove the graphics card hook it directly into the cpu to see if it makes a difference so for starters could you let us know your pc specs uh, particularly particularly the cpu Secondly, typically when you have your graphics card in the inputs on the motherboard, oh sorry, typically when you have your graphics card installed. Oh my god, my Oh, okay, I know what's happening. My uh, my mouse is dying, it appears because it's getting all slow. Uh when you have your graphics card installed, there we go. When you have your graphics card installed, the inputs on the motherboard are disabled. Could you try to disable or just could you try display or HDMI going directly to the graphics card? Also, um, let me see here. What else do you say? Also, I don't. Okay, this is what I was gonna say. Okay, and we can explain this, right? So this is this is something I want to say, and I, and I don't want to. I don't, I, I'm gonna say it, but I'm gonna be very, very gingerly about it because I don't want everybody who watches this or whatever this video turns into, or any students that I pick up in the future once I turn this into a training course, I don't want people going around and, and castrating Amazon. However, Amazon support, if you run into a situation where you have a product that you try to return to the manufacturer and they wouldn't accept it, it's a possibility Amazon might, okay? Now, do I guarantee that? No, I do not. <laughs> but I, I do want to say that um, there is a possibility that Amazon could. What hurts him the most is the fact that it is overseas. So because it is overseas, he's going to have to pay that trip charge, even if he wanted to ship it back to Amazon. So even at $1,000, he's probably going to get back maybe a third of it or maybe a half of it because he's going to have to pay shipment fees in order to send that gigantic, gigantic monitor back to Amazon shipping center. So I don't think it would benefit him, but I kind of do want to let him know. Also, I don't believe... What was I gonna say? Also, it should be noted that there is a chance Amazon could work with you if the manufacturer does not want to replace the unit. But this is on rare occasion. So I do wanna let them know that, but you know, to each his own. Secondly, typically, could you try to dis uh, display? Yeah, we'll go with that. 
So, so with this one here, we're kind of keep it keep it nice and breezy. We want we don't want to go too far into it because I don't want him to to try to do so many different things at once because he may not do the things that we really want him to do. What we really want to know is a what is his CPU? Because if it's a 5600G or if it's some type of an Intel or 6700 or 7700 something like that that may have integrated graphics, I would rather you try it out with the integrated graphics to make sure that it's not the graphics card that's giving you a problem. But of course, all your other monitors do work, so it doesn't sound like it's a graphics issue. It really it just sounds like it may be a monitor or cable issue but we want to make sure so so yeah with this one here i would say just try uh have it going into the gpu because it threw everybody and they mama off the moment you said you use ports on the motherboard and ports on the gpu so because you say that it worries me it makes me think that there's a possibility that you may have also tried it in the wrong port so we have to make sure of that before we move forward because i don't want you trying to break apart a thousand dollar monitor to try to fix different things if you don't know what you're doing you see what i'm saying like uh, you may be able to fix it just by making sure that it's going into the gpu so we just want to make sure that you are doing things correctly before we proceed but cool story bro we'll see what happens we'll keep up with gyarados here just the name alone makes me want to help you you didn't even have to say anything you could have just said hi and just say armor gyarados and i probably <laughs> I probably would have been like oh, what can i help you with is it pikachu again oh yeah see see the problem is you're always weak to electric you gotta change your element you gotta go water dark or something but <laughs> but uh that's it for uh mr gyarados there